got some really cute projects to show you guys. <coughs> so if I don't, if you ask me a question and I don't get to it, just know that I will go back and read through all the comments when I'm done and answer anything because I don't think I have it saved in my iPad either. Hmm. Well, shoot. I don't want to sit here and waste too much time going through all this. But in the same sense, I like to see what you guys are saying to me. And especially if it's like, I have a question and I say, hey, how should we, you know, how should we go about this? Ooh, you know what? Hold on. I think I just got it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on a minute. Let me see. Oh, no, that's not it. Let me try this. Um, I think I've got it. And of course, now my dogs are going crazy out there. You guys hear that? <laughs> so a couple days ago, me and my mom were in town. Um, I had a doctor's appointment. We had to take my mom's car in and get a, uh, she had a recall on it. So, um, we had to take her car in and, uh, do all that kind of stuff. And so when we were in town, my neighbor started messaging me and her pot belly pig had wound up having babies on that day. So every day I've been going over there. So this morning they called me over and asked me if I would come and help them, uh, Um, move a cage thing that they had so uh, I helped them move that over well that's not gonna work either because now it's telling me that I have to have some uh, some code sent to me so that's not gonna work so we'll just roll with it this way save my glitter paper thank you so much oh I'm so glad you got it Sheila hello Kay thank you for sharing hello Kathleen so yeah, so once I sit down, I won't be able to see your guys' messages because I'm on my phone when I'm doing a live, I have to put my phone in do not disturb. So if anybody starts text messaging me or calling me or anything, it doesn't kick me out of my Facebook live. So um, I will periodically look up and see, but I might miss some of your guys' messages and that kind of stuff. So like I said, I'll repeat it again. Um, I will go back and look at um, the messages when we're done. So if you um, feel like I'm ignoring you, please know that I'm not, but my other device is just not set up because I had to change all my passcodes. So we are going to be doing the alternatives for the Spooky Treats Paper Pumpkin Kit. Now this was the September kit. What we have for coming up in October is the Ho 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 Paper Pumpkin Kit. Send Mary and Bright cards this holiday season with the Ho 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 Paper Pumpkin Kit. With classic Christmas colors and holly jolly sentiments, the cards in this kit are sure to bring the Christmas spirit. Word from the North Pole is that this kit coordinates with next month's Paper Pumpkin Kit um, and special add-on products. <clears throat> With so much coordination between products, it will be a breeze to create cohesive holiday crafts for all your gifting needs. Make this season the most wonderful time of the year for your loved ones and for yourself. <clears throat> so this next kit for October is going to be um, creating nine cards, three of three designs, and nine coordinating envelopes. It says send cla classic <clears throat> Christmas cards with a whimsical feel with ho this holiday season. It's going to coordinate with the upcoming November paper pumpkin and North Pole sacks that are an add-on. And it says that the exclusive stamp um, stamp and spot that's going to be in it is early espresso, and it's going to come with your exclusive stamp set in that. So you might really want to think about grabbing this one and the November one to make those Christmas cards very easy. Or if you know somebody who wants to get into crafting and uh, they just don't know where to start, Paper Pumpkin is a great way for people to just get their hands on things. It's an all-in-one kit. They might just have to have a pair of scissors and that would probably be the only thing they need. Everything else is cut 
and die cuts are already um, die cut for you and all that kind of stuff. Hello, Florence. Hello, Melanie. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into this. Um, I do want to tell you guys that coming up October 4th, if you have been thinking about joining the Stampin' Up! family, starting October 4th, they have decided to bring out a new starter kit. So normally our kits are $125 worth of product that you get to pick from any of our current catalogs. Even the clearance rack is included on that. But during this short window from the 4th of October till the 31st of October, they are going to let you pick $155. So $30 more than they normally let you pick. And you're still going to only pay $99 plus whatever your taxes. Shipping is included in that $99. So you cannot go wrong. This is a great way. Again, if you are a beginner crafter and you have been eyeballing the catalog and it just seems so overwhelming and it's just a lot of money to just start out with, this is the way to go. You cannot go wrong with one of these starter kits. Once you start <clears throat> with your starter kit, just know that all of your upcoming beyond this time, all of your products will be discounted at a <clears throat> tremendous discount. So then you can start saving lots of money on all of those upcoming purchases. All right. So I just want to let you know about that. So keep watch for that. <clears throat> all right. So this kit was intended to make these super cute little treat boxes. So you would make six of each one of these adorable little treat boxes. They would be great, like especially if you have um, special little neighbor kids that come over and you always do something a little bit extra for them or the grandkids or the nieces and nephews or whatever come over. Um, these are great little kits to hand out to them and they know that you've put some love into the creating of them as well. But we are going to not make these boxes. We are going to make something different today. So for the first card that I'm going to show you here, this one is using my card base is uh, my pa uh, pumpkin pie. This is eight and a half by five and a half. I'm just going to fold it to create my base. Okay, so there's my card base. I have a piece of basic black. This is four by five and a quarter. This is gonna be my next layer. But what I wanna do with it first is I'm gonna use the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. And I'm gonna take this over and emboss it really quick. So since it's 3D, I have to make sure that I'm using that specialty plate to run this through. So there is my brick and mortar. Isn't that so cool? How it just looks like a little brick background there. That is going to get laid on there. Then what I have done is I have taken, I believe this is a three by three. Yep, this is a three by three square of pumpkin pie. Then I grabbed the little outside box for that little web. I just thought that was so adorable. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna cut on these. There are already little marks that they have scored for you to be able to fold these around to go on the front of your box. I'm going to cut that off because all I want is that little web window. And I can always use this white piece, these little extra pieces as little um, sentiment strips. I didn't make this too straight over here, so I'm gonna fix that. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, by the way, my name is Danny Garola from stampinthepinkbarn.com. Sorry, I didn't say that before I came in here. I was kind of frazzled with that thing not working. So I'm going to be putting this on here, but I'm going to bump it up first. So in this kit, you got some of the mini dimensionals, which are right in here. So you get everything you need. They even give you the little dimensionals. So what I'm going to do with this is just put this on four corners. Okay, and then just lay this on here making sure both of my sides I want some of that orange to be shown on the sides okay that looks straight yep that's good okay that's gonna now go on here and you can go this way with it where your web opens this way I'm gonna go down this way I like that so let me go ahead and glue this down first shut my blinds because the little gnats love my lights and they're little enough to get through the seams of my window and then they drive me nuts because then they're flying all around here okay that is going to go there then I'm going to grab my little purple tab now with this this came with a bunch of your little sentiment pieces it also came with some webs it came with this full sheet that has your little spiders and your ghosts in there um, and this color here is fresh freesia so that's the same color as this little tag um, you also got all these little pieces here that these all pot punch out they've got little bats on there super cute then you've got these little labels for doing sentiments on as well so I just took one of these little strips and one of the yellow strips <clears throat> and then I'm going to use the word happy Halloween but it probably would help if I got that a little bit straighter on there and I'm going to stamp right on here like this now the color that came in this kit is the orchid oasis so I'm going to grab that <clears throat> and we're gonna stamp right on this little fresh freezer piece here just like that okay this is going to get glued right down on my brick almost where it looks like a window kind of and then those almost look like the panes of the window, the orange. Okay, just like that. Then I have this little, uh, this looks like mango. This is going to get put on here, but we're going to do a couple of little dimensionals on there. Well, thank you. I love doing the alternatives for you guys. I have so much fun deciding what I'm going to do because I get so many ideas that I'm like, hmm, which one do I want to pick this time? Because honestly, I could sit here and do so many of these, but I have to pick which ones I think are the cutest <laughs> for you guys. Well, it helps if I get this thing straight on here. Okay, just like that. <clears throat> now this is going to go right across here kind of just how they show it I flipped my um, web like I said where it's coming down from the top 
but I'm doing kind of the same little design, but on a card. Then I'm going to grab my little spider here and put just a dab of glue on his little web spinner thing there. And I'm gonna just add that right like that. Just kind of pinch that down between there. And then that little cutie is gonna be hanging out right like that. <clears throat> so I'm gonna just put just a little bit of glue on some of these little pieces here just because I don't want to glue it I don't want to glue it down you know what I mean I don't want to glue the white web part down so there we go we'll go like that all right then this kit came with these adorable little black stars I wish they actually sold these in the store this comes in two different sizes you get the small ones and the big ones so we are going to place a big one right up here like that and then let's do a couple of little ones I'll do a little one here oops I got it upside down <clears throat> and then let's do another little one right oops not there because you can't see it let's do one right over here there we go then we have three of them okay so there is my first alternative card so if you don't have little treats that you hand out, you can send these cards out in the mail to your family and friends. So that's a really cute idea. And I didn't use much of my own product besides the black and the pumpkin. This all came in the kit. So that's a pretty easy one to do. Okay, so that is card number one. <clears throat> card number two is I have taken and used my black uh basic black and then i brought in i already stamped on this i should have done it for you guys but i was kind of just playing with projects i use my <coughs> my white craft this is the whisper white this comes <coughs> now this is a very old pad as you can see <clears throat> it's very well loved but i just keep refilling it and it works <clears throat> i took the stars from that stamp set right here and I just randomly put those on there so you can see that you can add a white stamped image to your black cardstock now this is um 11 by four and a quarter and so I need to score this since it's the long way so I need to put this at five and a half and score this card base all right so that will be our card just like that okay so I randomly just put some stars on there so what I want to do is grab I had a little scrap of white now where did I put it oh there it is Okay, I'm using the scrap from the earlier video that I made on YouTube. We did a YouTube live earlier. So this is a scrap from that. I am going to grab my uh, little ghost stamp here. And I am going to use my Fresh Freesia and stamp these ghosts. I'm going to stamp two of them. I probably only need one, so we'll just do one because I've got the other ones cut out. So then I grabbed my um, Parakeet Party. <clears throat> and of course I have to have my Simply Chamois handy so I can clean him off. Easiest thing ever to clean your stamps with. Then I'm gonna stamp two of the ghosts in Parakeet. Okay, like that. Clean that off again. And then I'm going to stamp it twice in black. So I'm going to use my Memento. One and two. Okay, 
Perfect. So there is my ghost. Okay, I also had a little, another one of those little fresh freesia strips right here. Okay. So I've already um, cut out some of these, but I need to cut out the fresh freesia one. But I want to show you this ghost is so simple to cut out. This is one of those stamps that I do not mind fussy cutting because typically fussy cutting is just not for me. But when it is such a easy stamp and it's just kind of rounded and I don't have to put much effort into it. Just like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have my other ones. I have my two little parakeet and then my two little black ones here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this one here. I'm going to do a green one down here and a black one coming this way this black one coming up here and maybe this other little green one maybe be coming up like that so they look like they're just kind of flying through on this little card okay I'm going to glue down I'm gonna glue down let's see I want to move these up a little bit I'm gonna glue down this one I'm going to glue down this one. And I think I'm going to glue down this little black one. And then I'm going to pop up these two here. So I'm just going to grab my large dimensionals for that. I'm just going to do one on the back of there and then have that one going this way. This one going this way. Okay, like this. Swooping through the sky. And then again, I'm going to take the Happy Halloween and the Orchid. Now this is one of those super easy, simple cards to just slap together. I'm going to put that right down there. And again, we're going to pop that up. Hello, Lois. Hello, Frida. Sorry, you guys. It takes me a few minutes because my other device, I had to change passcodes in and I don't have it up and running. I forgot. I had to change all the passcodes in my things and yep screwed life up okay alrighty so very simple very easy you can move these all around you can add more you can add less you can do whatever you want but just another cute simple idea that I thought you guys would love so that is card number two Ooh. <clears throat> All right, so let's do card number three. So this is going to be using a fresh freesia base.
and this is eight and a half by five and a half. Again, we're gonna fold that in half, creating our card base. Okay, then I have a piece of, this is that Celebrate Everything paper. It is a huge pack of paper. I know I've showed this to you guys. It's got all the holidays in it in this paper. This is a hostess gift, so once you spend um, your hostess, you can earn that for free. So this piece here is four by five and a quarter. Now I'm just going to turn it at an angle. Like that and then with a another piece of fresh freesia this is oh my goodness <clears throat> three and a quarter by four and a half I'm going to use the stripes and splatters I'm using the striped one this is another 3d <coughs> I'm going to lay that in there and then I'm going to run this through the, um, the embossing machine here. Now, now that I think about it, I should have probably did this a little bit ahead of time, but oh well. And then this is going to sit on here at the opposite angle. Then I took one of those little circles that they gave us for um, putting sentiments in. And then I took one of those little ghosties. Now we're going to just put that right on the top of there, but I'm going to add a dimensional to the back of that ghost or right in the middle of this. Just stick him on there. Now I have a black strip, and I'm probably going to need to cut this strip down. Um, I think I'm going to probably do three quarters of an inch. That always seems to be my go-to size. And then I'm going to use my flagging, um, the banners pick a punch and I'm going to put this in here and flag this one side just like that okay now this is going to go across like this and then this little circle is going to sit on top of there like that okay so I need to cut this about right here and then let me see nope I need to cut a little bit more off there like that Okay, I'm going to glue that down. Just like that. Okay, then I'm going to use my um, open weave ribbon. Now this is again in that same color of the Fresh Freesia. So I need to make sure I get my 
good ribbon snips to make a very clear cut on that. And then I'm going to take a This is my mini glue dots, so they will stick to that. And I'm going to line this up to the edge and put that right in the center. Okay, like that, pushing that down. And then grab one more off of here. Kind of moving it inwards a hair. So hopefully this circle will cover both of these glue dots. If not, we just cover it with a star, right? If I can get this off here, my goodness. Whew, that was a booger. Okay, just like that. To put some of that shimmer on there. Then we are going to, ooh, see, that's gonna cover those up beautifully. Okay, I have to decide whether or not I wanna push that down, or if I wanna give that, I think I'm gonna give that some lift also. So I'm going to use these little minis and just use three of them on here. Just like that. Yeah, I thought the angling kind of just gave it a different, like, look to it. Because it kind of just grabs your eye to give it just a little bit of a different angle. Okay, I'm going to set this right there. Okay, and then we need some stars. So we're gonna add some of these. And I know the stars on this paper are kind of like this um, yellowy, I'm pretty sure that's mango. But um, you know what, we're just gonna go with black stars. I think it, there's not really enough stars. You've got the white stars here that you can see but I think the black will be okay. And then I'm gonna grab a little star, do it right there. And let's do one more little star down over here, just like that. So again, very simple. I was even thinking that even if you took your black like memento and kind of just brushed it lightly, over this that would give it another look but i i didn't want to take too much away from the paper in the background so we're just going to leave it very simple like that i like it i i truly think it grabs your eye with all the texture and the different colors going on there so that is card number three okay now i've got to clean this up because we've got a scrapbook page to bring in here so let me get all this out of the way so I can bring this adorable scrapbook page in. I think I'm going to need that. Don't need these. Okay, move the stars out of the way. Okay, I think we're ready. Well, what did I do with the end of my snips here? I don't know, it's around here somewhere. I'll find it. Who knows? Okay, so I think we're ready to bring in my scrapbook page. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm gonna lay these pieces over here. We're going to be using the black and the purple of the, the four washies. And then I'll show you what else we got going on here. Ah, I want to lose all my pieces off of here. Okay, so we're going to be using a big 12 by 12 of our pumpkin pie. And then we are going to be bringing in a that same little Halloween paper. I'm using a 12 by uh, 
I think this is 12 by three. Nope, 12 by two and a half. <clears throat> this is going to go down here at the bottom, just like that. This is a part of our uh, black and white paper. See the other side is the gray with the black. I decided to use the white side. That's gonna go right up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two pieces down. I wanted to get through those cards because normally I don't glue my scrapbook pages on um, camera with you guys because it normally takes me too darn long to get everything glued and put in place. But I think this one, I think we've got this one in the bag we can handle. I took a picture so I wouldn't forget what the heck I was doing here and now I can't seem to find what I was doing. But that's okay. We'll make do. Okay, there we go. All right. So then what I'm going to do is I have, oops, hold on. We didn't glue this. GC, getting ahead of myself. I'm going to have two of my photo layers at four by four photos. And then I'm going to have one four by six photo um, mat. Okay, line that up up there. Okay, just like that. Put that underneath there so it's not distracting me. Okay, then I'm going to use my purple washi which i just used this earlier so it shouldn't be too hard to find the end but of course <clears throat> when you're on camera hello joanne or is it joanne okay and then so i'm gonna flip this over so it's closer to me so i can see what i'm doing here Hopefully you guys are still in frame. Can you see what's going on down here? Okay. I'm going to line this up. I'm going to do it a little bit past. You know what? I think I need to pick my camera up a little bit because you guys are not in frame. So you're probably like, hey, lady, we can't see. Okay, so hold on. If you get sick, shut your eyes so you don't get all wonky here. I'm going to lift you up a little bit and get you higher in the air. So hopefully you guys can see without seeing my clothes. I think that'll work, right? Yep, okay. So I'll just raise you guys up a little bit so you can get this whole page in here. Okay, so I'm just laying this purple washi. It's so hard when I don't have my other device because then I can't see where I'm at in frame. Okay, so then I'm just gonna tuck those ends around just like that. So they stay there. Okay, so that we're gonna flip this back around. Okay, there, can you guys see that? Okay. Now we're going to, these were my photo, uh, mats that I was telling you about. So <clears throat> this one is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. My white piece is just four by six. So it would actually take up the place of the photo, but just to give you guys an idea. And then I normally in pencil, I write on there what size photo goes in there. So if I just grab one of my pencils, 
I can just write a four by six, then I know, okay? Ah, come on, chair, jeez. Okay, then I'm going to do two of these. These are the uh, four and a quarter by four and a quarter, same with this black one here. And then these are these would be my photos, so they're four by four. Okay. Just like that. This one is going to lay down here. This one is going to go right like I want it over a little bit. Just like that. This one, we're going to glue to this. Okay. Like that. This one's going to come down. Now, I will tell you, you want to make sure when you put a uh, layer on top of another layer, Make sure you never put glue because you're going to slide a photo up in here and you don't want any glue on that because you don't want that stuck down. So four by four for those photos. Okay. Now we need, I'm using one of these little ghosts, the little spider, and my little circle. Now I'm going to do a stamp in that, and I think I'm going to do the trick or treat stamp that came with this. And I think I'm going to do that in Fresh Freesia, so it'll match all pieces here. Okay, just like that. Actually, I'm going to take my purple and I'm going to do it across here because I just think I want more bling to this. And then like that, like that. Now I can glue my photo mats down. What do you think of that? Do you think that looks better with the purple along there? Hello, Diana. Okay, so I'm going to do that. We're going to go here. So let's go ahead and glue these two down. Okay, just like that. This one is going to go right up here. Okay, and again, since this is going to overlap, I'm going to stick my fingers there so I make sure I don't get any glue down there. And then that is going to go right like that, watching all my margins. Oops. Okay. I'm going to tip the camera just a little bit so you guys can kind of see a little bit lower here. Okay. 
Now, what I think I'm going to do along here, this is going to get popped up right here. My ghost is going to go just a little bit like that. My spider is actually going to hang from up there. So let's glue the spider down. This is going to get popped up. Ah, you're stuck to me. like that and then this my goodness those little guys are a pain being a pest so I think I'm going to have that just kind of sitting on the side so I'm going to do one up here and then one toward the bottom here and have him just right there on the side Okay, now with this black washi, I'm going to take this, kind of no rhyme or reason, go like that. Now, I wasn't going to use another color, but I think I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to change things up a little bit, that's okay. Kind of like my card that I made earlier today on um, the coffee and cards over on YouTube. I'm going to do kind of the little stripes like we did over there. Mm, should I bring a purple back in? No, because we've got purple there. I'm going to go like this. And then maybe an orange. Because that orange is sparkly enough. I think you can still see the prettiness of it. Okay. And then let's do one more black. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go about the same size, just a little bit longer. About the same size as the one down here. Okay, like that. There we go. Whoops. It's like jack up his little tail there. Just to add some extra little element. Um, and I think I there's actually a web right here. I didn't take that off of there, but since I have my little spider. I'm thinking. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let's see. If we were to cut this in half and maybe place it just like that coming down from there. And then maybe one coming over here. Like he's got that attached. And this one I'm going to do right like that. So we've got a couple of little spider webs hanging out over things. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to put any over here. And then this one, maybe. Okay, I'm going to do it like that. I don't know if I like it there or over here. What do you guys think? Does that just look like it's, or maybe I need another one and cut another one in half and do more. Maybe two is just not enough. Maybe 
I need three. Maybe that's what I need. Maybe let's cut this like that and do this one like that. Does that look better with the three of them? I think that kind of gives it a little bit more. All right, let's do that. I think two is just not quite enough. Okay. <clears throat> hmm, I don't think I like four of them. I think I just like the three. Okay, so there is my scrapbook page. So let me bring back all of my cards and everything. That went way quicker than what normally. I think I, it's because I knew exactly what I wanted to do this time versus having to constantly change and contemplate because I had already set everything up and then took pictures of it the way that I wanted it to look so that I wasn't so scattery when we go to look at these and make these. Okay, so there is our scrapbook page. And then we have, oops, card number one, card number two, and then card number three. Let's get this stuff out of the way so you guys can actually see what's going on here. Ooh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to put some stars on here. That's what this needs. All right, hold on. Because we've got stars down here in this. So let's add some stars. There we go. I like it much better with the stars. What do you guys think? Just kind of adds a little bit more of a, another little sparkle and adds kind of some more to those spots that it looked like it needed to be filled in. But I do think we need maybe another little one, maybe up over here. Kind of like that. Just so that one doesn't look like it's just kind of hanging out by itself. <clears throat> I'll fix that because those look like they're just out of place. But there you go. There is our super cute scrapbook page and then the three alternative cards. So I hope you guys enjoyed those and give you a little bit of, you know, out of the box ideas. So you're not just stuck with those little um, boxes if that's what you, you know, you want to do something a little bit different to send somebody. Now you've got a couple of card ideas. If you take photos of the, you know, the babies, the kids, the whatever, the grandkids, then you have a scrapbook page now to add those photos to. So please feel free to... Um, what do they say? Case these. So that means copy and paste everything. Um, I would love to see photos. If you change yours up, you can post pictures over on uh, Pink Barn Stampers group, which is my private group for all of you guys to join. And I thank you so much for sticking with me and have yourselves a great weekend. And I will see you guys on Monday. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.